Hey all my sexy peoples of YouTube, I am MindArt Productions 1, and today I'm going to be doing another Draw Tips episode. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw classic anime. So, let's get started. For first, anime drawers who are watching this video, and if you don't really know how to shape the head, and it gets kind of confusing of what size you want it to be, usually just draw the hair first. And how do you do the hair, some of you might ask? Well, you just choose the shape, then you draw little, 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 little lines all in it. Well, it matters what texture the hair is. And then lightly shade it in with your pencil. That's been tip number one. I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alright, tip number two. When shaping the anime head that comes off the hair, usually you want it to have a pointed chin, sort of like that. You can choose how long it goes off the hair and out through the neck. You can make it really kind of medium like I did, or you can make it long or really short. Alright, that's been tip number two. I'll see you in a couple seconds. Click. Alright. Now we're going to start to get onto the facial facial features. Often when you're drawing anime eyes, you need to have a really good placement. So, what I usually do, I draw the sides of the anime eyes first, and here they are. You just draw a little bit of a, it's, it's a line, but it's kind of slanted, if you can see. So you draw, first you draw a slanted line. I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alright, step number two about drawing the anime eyes. You have to put an eyelid over the anime eyes. Sort of like this. And if you look really, really closely... Wait a sec. One second. Sorry. Alright. If you look really closely... Wait. You can see there's a little line that kind of comes off the box of their eye. There's that little, little, little line. That's usually like a sign of eyeliner or something. And also make it really dark. So it actually looks like that he's wearing eyeliner. He slash or she. Or maybe an N if it's a bitchy hair mask ready. All right, I'll see you in a couple seconds. And for the bottom part of the eyes, practically do the same exact thing. Alright, next tip for the anime eye, you have to draw, well if you want to, it's optional, draw an, a darkened oval in the middle of the box. Alright, see you in a couple seconds. Alright, after you put the pupils in, you put the, I forgot, I completely forgot what those are called, but it's like the colored part of your eyeball, I think it's like the iris or something. But anyways, that's tip number, I don't know, there's too many tips in this. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alright, I'm just going to call them irises, I don't know what they're called. But then, color them lightly in. Now remember, don't do it dark. Do it very, very lightly. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Bye bye. Often to add in light definition to the eyes... I often erase the top part of the eyes, see like that, and I lightly outline it with my pencil. I could either do it like right here, right there, on any of the edges you want, but they have to be parallel, so if it's like, if it's right here, it also has to be right here, if it's right here, it has to be right here, you know, you get what I mean. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Now there's a little variety of noses to choose from for an anime. So I made just a little sheet of the usually used um, anime noses. So here's some of them. So you got this one, which is the one I use most. I use this one not often. My friends often use that one. This one right here. And this one you have to have a shading technique, which I will show you later. Alright, and so here's what she looks like with a nose. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. 
Alright, so now we're going to talk about like different types of cheeks. So there's the casually used shy cheeks, which is used in common anime drawing. So I'm going to show you what they look like, look like uh, at first. So here's what you do. At first you just draw little tiny lines right by each other, okay? That's all you have to do for step number one, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Minutes? Really? Alright, here's how you do the rest of the shy cheeks. So first off, you see how there's like, if you look really closely, there's a little fuzz around it. So here's how you do it. You take your finger, and you rub your finger on it until there's a slight blur around it. And then you go over it again, but a bit darker. So it really turns out like that. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alright, there's a wide variety of anime mouths you can pick out, but I just picked out six of the huge bunch of them. So my hand's covering the ones of head, so I'm just one second. I just. This will. Yeah. Alright. Here's all the happy. Let's see. This one's for like, I don't know, serious anime. This one's for like Naruto, fuzzy anime. Got the canine teeth in there. Like always put like a little tiny shark too. And this one's just a anime mouth, I guess. It's not really a serious mouth, it's just like a mouth. And then there's the angry mouths, which never really get any. Well, actually, they do. Most of them are actually from the same category that they were above. Like that one, serious anime jar, Naruto, still get the little canine tooth. And that. I think that's like Dragon Ball Z or something. But, anyways. I put this on my anime. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alright, now we're finally done with the head. Thank goodness. But now we're moving on to the neck. So here's how you do the neck. If you want it to be an anorexic character, or classic anime, which is anorexic, just draw it a neck, and then if you look closely, you can see a, two little lines right there. That's for detail of these little things in your neck. So put those, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. So anyways, when you're starting to draw like this part of the shirt or jacket or whatever you wear in jumpsuit, you gotta like, you know how you can feel that part of your neck right here? Well, usually you just draw, like, a little line right there that kind of looks like a smiley face, and you just draw the collar of the shirt that goes around his neck area. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. When extending out the shoulders to the anime, make sure they're about a centimeter away from the head. Kind of like that. Because they're not, like, high. They're like normal. They're like normal people except they're anorexic. Alright, that's tip number five trillion. Alright, I'll see you in a couple seconds. Often to show when like a shirt's been worn out or something like that, you often put really these little, little dark lines and then you use the finger technique that you used for the shy cheeks. have a cough. But anyways, that's practically how you draw an anime. Oh yeah, you can also put like little creases if he's like sitting down or something. Just go all random about that. But anyways, here's how he came out. Ooh, ah. Well, 
that's been it for today, my sexy peoples of YouTube. I will see you later. Bye.